Hello students, welcome to Mr. Panza's lesson on today's figurative language, which are metaphors. How do we locate metaphors in writing and beyond? Well, basically, you're just looking for a simile without the words like or as. We learned most recently that a simile compares two totally different things, but it includes the word like or as in their comparison. What you see here are what could easily be changed or transformed into similes, but it doesn't use the word like or as, so it makes it a metaphor. Here are some examples. Your friend George is just a big baby. You are my guardian angel. Johnny's mouth is one huge metal factory. And you can see each of these examples has pictures next to it because the writer of these metaphors are trying to get you to see things a little bit differently. Grab your attention. That's what figurative language is all about. You see more examples here. His students are popping such a string. I wish you weren't always such a chicken. The girl over there is one beautiful fox. The kids at that school are all brains. All of these metaphors aren't exactly what they mean. In other words, this kids at the schools being all brains doesn't mean that those kids are just one big pile of brains. It means that the students are very smart. The girl over there being a beautiful fox would mean that the person who's writing this felt as though that girl was attractive. I wish you weren't always such a chicken doesn't mean that the person is a chicken, it just means maybe they seem to get scared. So this figurative language is used to grab your attention, but it means something totally different. Javier thinks he's the class clown. Life is one scary roller coaster, and my boyfriend is my knight in shining armor. You could change all of these to similes by adding the word like or as, or you could use them as metaphors without. Javier thinking he's a class clown means that he likes to tell jokes. Life is one long scary roller coaster compares life to a totally different thing, which would be the roller coaster, but we're talking about the ups, downs, twists, turns, and upside downs that life sometimes throws at us. So these are just examples of how metaphors can be used in writing. This is one of my favorite metaphors, life's a beach. It's comparing life, your individual life, to that of sitting on a relaxing beach. So you may think that it's relaxing. You may think as though it's time and opportunity for you to reflect or sit back, but it doesn't mean that your life is actually on a beach or that your life is a beach. It's just comparing your two things, your life to something that's comfortable, something relaxing. And we want you to visualize what one may think when you write a metaphor like this. Here is a musical example. In this example, it's quite obvious that the metaphor is love is an open door. You could change it to a simile by saying love is like an open door. But again, this message or this lesson is on metaphors. So when you think of this song, I want you to think of the fact that we have a metaphor. We're talking about love, the feeling of one's feelings for another person and comparing it to an open door or a closed door. To further illustrate this, the song's title is also the metaphor, love is an open door. When they are singing those actual words, that's where the metaphor comes into play because you are comparing love to that open or shut door. When you look deeper into the actual meaning, we're talking about the fact that they compare those two things. It means that in order to have the love they're singing about, you must always be open and honest with each other. In the movie, this is in direct comparison to sisters Anna and Elsa who have a closed-door relationship. Elsa's hiding her powers, and they only become 
close again once Elsa opens herself up to that love and is able to share what is going on in her life. So the metaphor really means this, but in just a few simple words allows us to visualize so much more. Now I challenge you, in everyday life we see things, we listen to things, we listen to music. In this case, I challenge you to find a song. Listen for a song that has a metaphor in it. How will you know? If it's comparing two unlike things without using the words like or as. Good luck with this activity.